Hello, book lovers and lovers of Shirtless Dudes. I'm Ben Bauer, and this is Shirtless Dudes Book Club. Yeah! Um, great. Uh, before I introduce my guests, I just want to say, here at Shirtless Dudes Book Club, we like to be all-encompassing with the term dudes. Um, dudes is basically people who I think are cool. Uh, any size, shape, color, gender, orientation, anything, you name it, and I think they're cool, they're on the show. Um, so I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna introduce my guest. Um, it's, it's Shirtless Dudes Book Club's first lady dude, um, so I'm super excited. Uh, you, if you are watching The Magicians on Sci-Fi, which you should be, um, you will recognize my guest. She plays the fantastic Katie Orloff Diaz, and uh, I, I am just so thrilled to have her on here today. So uh, here she is, Jade Taylor. Yay! Hey guys! <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you so much for doing this. Of course, thank you uh, for, for doing it with me. So this is this is Lady Shirtless. Lady Shirtless. Um, <laughs> she's wearing a lovely bathing suit top, and I'm I'm so so happy that she is here doing this with me. Yay. Anyway. Yes. Uh, so Jade, what mm -hmm. book did you bring in to talk about today? Well, I brought <laughs> The Magicians. <laughs> the Magicians by Lev Grossman. Yes. Yes, it is one of my favorites. It's it's a fantastic book. Mm -hmm, it um, is. You're on the show. I am on the show. Uh, yeah. But here here's a here's a fun fact. Uh, her character is actually not in the books. Well, not necessarily. Really. <laughs> um, the way that yeah. she is introduced, the character does not exist in the books. Mm -hmm. So how was that for you? Because I I feel like the other actors in the show they had they had three books of material to yeah. go off of, and you yeah. were kind of just like winging it. Yeah, well I got to go by the scripts, which was really cool. Yeah, so yeah, I got them a couple weeks in advance. But so I always had to be on my toes with what was next because yeah. I never knew it was coming. And so that was really, it was actually really fun for me. Nice. Yeah, because it was just new and exciting every mm -hmm. time. So it's, I, it's playing. Yeah, it's like exactly. Really playing. Exactly. So I got to play a lot. Go ahead. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, well you brought in mm -hmm. The Magicians. Yes, I did. By Lev Grossman. Yeah. Uh, for the people watching at home who yeah. haven't read this yet, which you really should, yes. like I said before, it's one of my favorite books and favorite book series, mm -hmm. um, could you give them a, a brief description yes. of the goings-ons? Yes, I will give you a very brief one because you should read it and you should watch the show. Yep. So, <laughs> so essentially it is, um, it follows a main character, Quentin Coldwater, and at first you see him um, with interacting with his best friend, Julia. And um, they are just graduating from high school. In the series, it's actually college and they're going up to grad school, but in the book, it's high school. And essentially, they get brought <laughs> in a magical way to um, these tests to test their magical prowess. Um, prowess, yes, thank you, exactly. You're and, um, and then Quentin gets in. And you get to see him go to the school break bills, and you see him along his journey. And then something else happens with Julia. I'm not going to tell you what because you Don't should read it. it. <laughs> um, but you you see him go through um, these uh, these tests, these magical tests, and and he's tested for his aptitude. And and um, and what I really love about Lev's writing is that it's yes, there are all these magical scenarios and. Um, and fantasy and all of these fun things, but it really shows um, this like in-depth existentialism in, in a way. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And you, you really see what people go through, and it, it's not um, what people go through in college and what people go through in life, and it's just very mm -hmm. real and very grounded um, in reality, and it's also very dark and um, very dark. Very dark. Um, yes. I'm so sorry. Please. I just realized I almost messed up the entire show. Oh my god. Look at me He's... still with my shirt on. I know, I felt really naked over here. Oh my god. <laughs> you think, Take it you off. think by now. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. You think by now I would have know. this down, but uh, <laughs> anyway. So yeah, we yeah. meet Quentin Coldwater. Yes. He goes to this uh, school for magicians, yes. and adventures yeah. ensue. Mm -hmm. But one th one thing that you yes. t touched on that I love so much about this series yeah. is the fact that like in most fantasy series, and I read a lot of fantasy series. Mm -hmm. Me too. Um, love it. Um, there's the 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 characters have this like moral compass that mm -hmm. that doing the wrong thing or like being 
bad or flawed is just beneath them. But in this in this story, the characters are so real mm -hmm. and so flawed. And there's even a moment in Love's writing where he says that magic comes from pain. Yeah, and that's, yeah, I think yeah. that's a really like uh, just a really poignant um, thought about yeah. like how how he structures the book that that our pain in life actually dictates our experiences and who we become. Yeah. So it's deep, y'all. Very deep. Okay, it so that deep. was that was like <laughs> a kind of long, short uh, uh, description description of the Synopsis. book. Yeah. Um, great. Yeah. Uh, question number two here on Shirtless Dudes Book Club. Uh, why did you choose to bring this book in today? I chose to bring this book in because, well, for one thing, I'm on the show, <laughs> and, on the show. Um, but it's become one of my favorite books. I, I just love Love's writing, and um, and it's just it's become something that's just so special to me because it's well, and you have to yeah. have a very personal connection with it being oh, on the show. Absolutely, absolutely. So yeah, it's really it's personal. It's, <laughs> it's super personal. Pers um, but yeah, I love it. I fantastic. Love it. Mm -hmm. uh, speaking of Lev's writing, yes. Uh, is there a favorite passage or moment or thing that happens in the story? There are a, oh, there, I mean, there's so much. There's so many moments, and I really I just love the way that he writes. And just like I said, that one line about mm. like magic comes from pain. There's another quote that I'm going to read. Hold on one second. Um, She's gotta, gotta, gotta get her stuff together. Really grab it. Um, I'm gonna read this for you because I just really love it. Well, also I don't want to ruin the, my favorite moments in the book, but they go to they go to Antarctica, and there's mm -hmm. some things that happen there that I just really love, and yeah, I yeah, really yeah. love um, their relationship between Quentin and this girl Alice, and how they're they're a little they're roller coaster ride of. Of emotions that they tumultuous. Yes, this is <laughs> yes. It's tumultuous. I love that. So I'm gonna read this little thing, which says, "If you will just for one second look at your life and see how perfect it is, stop looking for the next secret door that is going to lead you to your real life. Stop waiting. This is it. There's nothing else. It's here, and you'd better decide to enjoy it, or you're going to be miserable wherever you go the, for the rest of your life forever." I just think that's really. Yeah, it's, it's real. It's real. It's real. It's a beautiful, but it's also just a great way of looking at life. Yeah. Like you decide if you're happy or not. <laughs> well, <and laughs> you decide that, if you're miserable. Or that's not. another thing that I love so much about yeah. his writing as well is that um, it's not it's not just magic. It's not yeah. just fantasy. Yeah. There's there's some there's some like philosophical arguments almost exactly. that you come out of it. Yeah, which absolutely. is my favorite, Ooh. like my yeah. favorite passage from the book. Um, so Alice and Quentin are graduating from this yeah. magic school that they go to and the Dean uh, gets a little morose and he has some parting words for them mm, that, I, nice. that I really, really enjoyed. Mm -hmm. uh, but somewhere in the heat of magic, that boundary between word and thing ruptures. It cracks and the one flows back into the other and the two melt together and fuse. Language gets tangled up with the world it describes. I sometimes feel as though we've stumbled on a flaw in the system, don't you? A short circuit, a category error, a strange loop? Is it possible that magic is knowledge that would be better off forsworn? Tell me this, can a man who can cast a spell ever really grow up? Hmm. And I just, hmm. like... I love that. You know, yeah. I, I read a lot of fantasy, like I yeah. said, and you never, you never see a description that's, like, that real. Mm -hmm. Like, you never really see it from a point of, you know, this magician can create whatever world he wants to, yeah. and he has to make the choice to live in this one and be a part of this one yeah. with this knowledge of like all that he can do. And it's mm -hmm. just like, it's it's weird to think about. It's yeah. trippy, but it's also like yes, it's in a magical context, but it, it's really a metaphor for life. Like mm. each, everything he says is just a metaphor for yeah. how we are in life. It's really incredible. Yeah, it really is. Um, Love Grossman is a, is a great, great writer. Genius, um, that man. Speaking of yes. her saying, gotta read it. Yes. This is your challenge. Yeah. You now have 30 seconds to a minute, somewhere okay. in there. I'm not actually counting. I'm, okay. not, I, awesome. I'm not counting. Good, perfect. Um, <laughs> to convince the people who are watching at home that they need yeah. to read this book. I think I can do it in less. Great. Yeah. And go. It's like Harry Potter, but for adults, and there's sex, drugs, and magic. 
I mean, enough said. Right? That's good. Right? <laughs> that's really good. You did you not read <laughs> you know, the whole 30 seconds. Yeah. Um, and that's, we didn't really talk about that much yeah. like when you were just talking about it. But there, I mean, part of the characters being so flawed, there's... A lot of drinking. Oh yeah. Heavy drug use. Oh yeah. A lot of sex. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, and and it, but it's just like yeah. the, the way that it's written. It's you know it just really shows you who these characters are yeah. and like they're messy. They're messy yeah. real people. But aren't we all? Aren't we? Just pretend not to be. <laughs> Amen, sister. Um, yeah. Well, Jade. Yeah. Thank you so much. Of course, thank you. The first lady okay. on Shirtless Dudes Book yeah. Club. I'm so excited. I like the sound of like uh, that, the first lady. I know, the I'll first lady of Show the Suits Book Club. I like that. Yeah. That's a title right there. Yeah, I got it. Um, great. Well, okay. uh, thank you again of so course. much. Thank and you, you guys, seriously, if you're not watching The Magicians on Sci Fi, you really need to be. Um, I agree. I, I can't say enough good things about it. I'm kind of obsessed. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, thank you thank so much. You. And thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, I hope you tune in next week. Yeah. Bye. Bye.